I am officially the richest man in this Minecraft world. And it's not only emeralds that I have, but also emerald blocks. And not just these. I have tons of emerald blocks. I have enough emeralds to last me a lifetime. And that should be an eternity because this is hardcore. And if I die, then I won't be able to spend any of these. Plus, all the Totem of Undyings that I have as well should keep me alive forever. So in today's episode, our plan is to build a marketplace where I can spend all my emeralds. Probably wasn't the brightest idea to place all these just for the video's sake. So the reason I was able to get so many emeralds between this episode and the last is because I built a pillager raid farm. This raid farm was designed by ENX04 and it was a super simple, super easy build and it yielded us a ton of emeralds and a ton of totems of undying. I sat here farming emeralds for a few hours and in total I've killed 2,294 pillagers, 1,827 vindicators, 495 evokers, and 530 witches. So as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be building a marketplace this episode and this is the prime location for it. I've been gathering a lot of materials off camera, a lot of wool, and a lot of wood. And our first plan of action is to go on ahead and start doing some terraforming. This should be a lot faster than the previous episode because I do have Efficiency 5 on all my tools now. And just like that, we have a nice flat area where we could build our marketplace. So I'm thinking instead of having the path go like over a pond, you can see I, I kind of filled it in a little bit. Uh, the path is going to wrap this way and the entrance to the marketplace is going to be here. And I noticed this pillager earlier when I, when I was going, uh, when I was clearing out the area and he just keeps going closer and closer to our village and we cannot have that happening. Um, I don't really want to kill him because I don't want to risk starting a raid. Wait, I've got the perfect idea. Hold on. All right. And there we go. There it is. <laughs> a carrot. Wait, we needed this the whole time. Okay, and sweet. All right. Let's get to work on our first stall. Alright guys, so we finished our first stall. We got the orange and white roof. Uh, this kind of model is basically going to be our average kind of like stall. Everything's going to be kind of similar from here on out. Oh, I actually messed that up. Whoops. But it's all upside down stairs and slabs. Every everything's going to use either fence gates or slabs to like trap the villagers inside. They'll have little overhangs with the campfires and trap doors on the sides holding the wool in. And of course, a little trap door to get in and out. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on the rest of the stalls now. Alright guys, I guess I finished building all the stalls now. Uh, it was a little difficult with some of these. I, I tried building more on a diagonal with a few. And you can see like the roofs are a little bit different. Uh, I, I guess I probably forgot to put some trap doors here. But, like this one for example, like it doesn't go all the way off to the edge like how some of these do. Um, but that's just because 
it, it looked a little weird because it was built on a diagonal. And then we have a little tiny guy right here, this little small one, little yellow, yellow roof guy. Um, this is going to be like a flower stand. I'm going to put dirt in here and like plant a little azalea bush and have some pots around and everything. And of course, all, all these other stands are, are going to be decorated as well, like depending on what profession each villager has inside of these tents. But before we start moving the villagers in, I want to go on ahead and take some of these azalea bushes that we have. And we're going to go on ahead and like kind of continue the hedge that we have here and sort of make like a fence around this area to kind of like almost draw the path in this way. All right, there we go. So something kind of like this. Uh, I'm gonna have to move all these uh, chests, but they're just so full of junk that I'll do it later. Uh, but yeah, just a little like hedge that comes down here, kind of like swoops down a little bit, angles down, and then we'll have the path connecting there. It'll run into here, and you're kind of just brought into the marketplace just like this. All right, guys. So I've been doing a little bit of planning here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have like a fountain right here in the middle. Um, so we'll probably just come in here with some stands or some sandstone like that. Um, the water's gonna go on top, but before we do that, of course, we'll need to build like a rim around here to keep the water in. So probably just something like that. And I think what would look nice is if we had the floor of the fountain uh, all terracotta, like that, just like a, a nice little orange floor, and then oh, water right up there. Uh, and then we'll have to change all these to source blocks, so I need, uh, I need more buckets. Alright, there we go, and then maybe we'll just come in and, uh, detail a little bit, swap out some of the sandstone for some smooth sandstone, or how about some cut sandstone up in here. We like that, like that, this guy, just like that. Add a little bit of variation, maybe, uh, this block as well. Yeah, awesome. Well, now I think, uh... I think it's time we start moving some of the villagers over. I did get this guy. Uh, he was he might have seen him in the time lapse. Um, he was watching me the whole time, but I had him here because I needed campfires, and so I just went on and made, made a fisherman to get easy campfires right there, and he became a master during all that. Uh, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, this guy, he's going to be going into that tent right over there. All right, so we got our first fisherman here manning his stall. What's up, guy? All right, I got the track laid out for the next guys to come along. Uh, it does get a little bit laggy over here. Like, get some FPS lag. Like, I, as you can see, I dropped below uh, 60 FPS looking in this direction for some reason. Um, I think it's because I have all these sheep in this area. And on top of the sheep, I have... Um, I, I've been, uh, been breeding the villagers just to have a lot of them. And yeah, they're kind of just all stuck in this one by one glass container. And there's more than just four guys here. There's probably, I don't, I don't know, there's probably like 20 maybe. I have no idea. But we just got to scoop them up, take them on in one by one. I've got another minecart actually. We'll go two by two. See you later, guys. See you on the other side. All right, sweet. These guys are just trying to get out. What the heck? No, go. <laughs> Watch out, man. I need to get to that door, dude. If I open this, they're going to get out. But I have an idea. <laughs> Later, suckers. Oh, God. This guy got stuck. Oh, uh, get in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Wrong way, man. All right, guys, looks like we got all our villagers trapped here inside of their uh, their tents here, or, or their, their stalls. Um, some of them have two, some of them have three, some of them only have uh, one. Uh, I just decided to like try and mix it up a little bit, have a few, few more traders in each stall and stuff like that. Uh, I did mention earlier, these guys are going to be our masons. So I'll probably just come in here with like 
some stone cutters, place them around so you let them take the job. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> it's so tricky trying to get out of here because that the trap door, they just hang out right next to the trap door, so I have to go through the fences. Um, these guys are going to be like uh, the looms. I, I don't know, what what are they called? Shepherds? Is that what they're called? Guys who use the loom. What are you, you, you want to take this job? Tell me what you become. Okay, yeah, a shepherd. Yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason, they're, they're not taking the job. Like, only one of them became a mason over there. Only one of these guys became a shepherd. Like, you want this? Oh, there you go. For some reason, it's just like, uh, I, might, I might just have to, like, pick them up and replace them for some reason. Anyway, um, we brought the two archers, uh, or Fletchers, sorry, from the beginning of the series that we had tucked away inside the house. We brought them over here, decided to get, take them out of the village. So now... This will be their new area. This next stall is going to be a little weird. Um, <laughs> we're going to be like mixing occupations here now. Uh, we'll do a composter here. And then I want to do a brewing stand. I don't think I can place it on here. Yeah, I think it has to be on the ground. But for some reason, they they will not stop with these trap doors, man. Okay, yeah, this, this is some weird mechanic. Look at this. See the trap door? If I place a block in front of it, they run away. They're not taking their jobs. Oh, there you go. Okay, that guy became a cleric. The other guy needs to go to the composter, become a farmer, please. But like, watch, if I delete this, he'll run to the trap door. Now away. Now back to the trap door. Dude, just take the frickin' job. Here. Come get your composter, buddy. Come on. There you go. Alright, we got the soul guy right here, the one and only. Smoker. He's gonna be our chef of the town. There you go. Oh, he's the, it's called a butcher is what it's called, but we're just going to pretend he's like a chef, like some sort of cuisine guy or something, you know? And these two guys, after I block off the trap door, one of them's already the fisherman. Uh, the next guy will do a cauldron. I kind of want to place the cauldron right here. I think it'd be nice. I could put this here. Now you become a leather worker. Okay, so the only way for me to make this guy a leather worker was to completely surround the entire thing with, with uh, sand. For some reason, they're just not taking their jobs i don't know like all these slabs and fences and half slabs and everything like it's all like blocking the pathing or like messing up with the ai or the, or the ai pathing of the um the occupation all right sweet we got everybody their jobs uh now it's time to decorate the stalls so we i i went on ahead and got a bunch of uh materials here we got a lot of item frames a lot of uh pots and flowers and stuff and we're going to kind of like decorate them according to what they are. So like these farmers, they'll have wheat and pumpkins and, you know, the the leather worker will probably do like armor stands and things like that. All right, we're here in the mason place. We're going to go ahead and start out here. Uh, I got some clay, glazed terracotta and some clay. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and like place this on the ground. Maybe make, make it seem like, you know, this is what they're selling, right? They got some clay here. Um, we can even hang it on the on the top as well. And then also, we'll, we'll just sprinkle some flower pots around just to add some color. Maybe a lantern or two. Go ahead and put like a red flower here. Maybe some bamboo. Um, how about a oxide daisy? Alright, and I also have these item frames that I can put down. Maybe like have like a little display case. Uh, we'll just Let's go ahead and level up one of these guys and see. Maybe we could uh, put like bricks in here. Um, what's he gonna level up and sell? His old stone brick? Sure, like, you know, we could just put this in there. Maybe we could have one, uh, up here as well. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good, pretty cozy. Everyone looks happy with their jobs. On to the next guys, the shepherds here. Um, my plan for these guys is to use a lot of banners and stuff like that. And yeah, we could just, like, place some of the banners on the outside, like, on display, maybe this and this. Cool thing about banners is they can also hang, so if I can get in here, we could, like, hang them from up here, maybe. Of course, we'll have a nice chest, maybe maybe we'll do two chests like that. Orange banner on display, of course, of course. We could hang the banners on the fences as well. Yeah, just, just placing some banners all, all over the place, to be honest. I also got some carpet left over from uh, the little flower stall over there, so maybe we could just, like, place this on the ground, or... Or how about, yeah, we just place it up here as well. Alright, there we go. So we got, like, some shears on display. Maybe a little piece of wool. Um, and it, we started, like, a little pile of wool as well with some carpet. All the banners, of course. Flowers looking good. And now we've got the two Fletchers here. I'm not really too sure what I want to do with the Fletchers. I mean, obviously just uh, some flowers is going to be some easy decoration. 
but I'm thinking we're gonna use a lot of item frames here. Um, we'll probably have like some bows and arrows. They do like bows, crossbows. Do they sell arrows? No, they don't sell any arrows. Oh, they do. Okay, sweet. We could just hang them up like that. Probably put the crossbow here. But yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do for the archers. Pretty uh, simple here. Actually, maybe we'll put a little lantern in the back. Yeah, like that. All right, so this is the farmer's stall. So uh, I think we'll just like throw a little wheat pile out front. Uh, maybe have another one in the back here, but uh, we're gonna be using a lot of item frames for this. The cleric, uh, I, I went on ahead and leveled him up a lot because I really wanted to get these bottles of enchanting. I think they look nice when you like, oh, when you hang them up, I was about to say, there you go. So yeah, and he gave us like some lapis, some redstone, and even uh, the ender pro, we could just go on ahead and slap that in the item frame like that. We're also gonna like put a seed or something here for the farmer. All right, so for the uh, chef here, we're gonna plop down another furnace just for the aesthetic of it. Uh, chest right there, it looks good. A flower pot here and here. Uh, we'll do some item frames and we'll also hang some more item frames like up here, over here. Uh, and we'll just do like an assortment of like food, like yeah, some fish here. Uh, I'll probably have to cook some beef. Uh, we'll try and do like some of the raw food over here hanging maybe i kind of wanted to put a campfire maybe like a, a little campfire out back almost as if he's grilling or something you know what i mean like like he's making food for the customers or something so maybe something like that just something simple simple and small and while we're doing this we can also cook up two more pieces we'll do three pieces because i've got another one now i've got some trap doors that i'm just gonna go on ahead and put around this little stone block just for the sake uh i think i just think it looks a little nicer and then we've got our cooked food. We'll put a steak here and a mutton here. Rotate it a little bit like that. Yeah, we're going to get fancy. We're going to go with the uh, crimson stem right there and one of the lilies of the valley. There you go. Nice. All right, now we're going to get a little crazy. We're going to go on ahead and turn this little stall into the flower shot that we said. I think a azalea bush will go nice right there. I kind of want to change the ground to dirt but i gotta watch out my my shovel's about to break all right and now we could just go ahead and add some flower pots all around the place um we could do flower pots and because i i made it dirt we can also do just regular uh plants if we want to all right now i feel like we need to get some sort of light here now that it's turning nighttime i can't hang it from anywhere up there maybe instead of doing two pots here we'll like sw switch out this guy for a lantern yeah, that's cute. I like that. Uh, we got some like bushes in the back as well. I don't I don't know if I like these in the back, but we'll just leave them there for now. It's fine. Okay, I forgot. I went and picked up these tall bushes as well. I could uh, plant them in here. Maybe I'll put these towards the back instead of these bushes, actually. All right. Now for the leather worker, we're going to go ahead and put like uh, an armor stand. Uh, maybe not right there just because it's right underneath the, the lantern. All right. I think this is a better spot right here. We're going to kind of have like almost like a little display outside and we'll do one inside as well like right there i guess all right i have this set of leather armor i got it earlier uh, like on the first episode from a, a shipwreck and i think we're just gonna go on ahead and maybe take some some dyes here and just dye it and then we'll put that on the uh the armor stand all right some green pants and a light blue shirt looking good looking good uh, i also brought a saddle i didn't really care for this piece of leather up there so i think i'm gonna put a saddle instead Okay, this guy is like playing dress up or something, man. He's literally just sitting in the armor stand. Like, come on, guy. You're the fisherman. There, I, I moved the barrel over here on the left and swapped the uh, chest out because the fisherman just keeps going because the barrel was right there. He just kept on going and standing inside of the, uh, the armor stand. All right, and the final stand is a set of two farmers. The other guy is uh, wheat. Like, I'm making that guy like a wheat farmer. And then these two guys are going to be doing the pumpkins and melons. So I was thinking we can kind of like put a little display here, like almost like a, uh, I don't know, like a pumpkin patch type thing or melon patch. I don't, I don't even know what you call this, but yeah, just something like this. Stack a few pumpkins, a few melons, and then we'll also fill up the inside with a few. Yeah, and then maybe like some item frames, like displaying like the seeds or something. And just for fun, we could put like a hoe here. <laughs> like maybe they're selling the tool or something. I don't know. Oh, and of course, a chest. 
Just for uh, for storage, I guess. <laughs> We've been doing chests in every single stall, so of course we gotta have it there as well. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's it for the decoration. Everything looks pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with what we have here. Um, maybe I'll move one of these over here. But overall, I think it's pretty solid, pretty solid. You know, one thing I was thinking was maybe doing the target blocks. Like, you see how they have the targets there? Um, I could put, like, a little target block here. Almost like if you buy a bow, you can practice or something. But um, all we need to do now, really, is make some paths that go here. We need to connect the path to the inside. And then a few small details, and we'll be good. so this is how the path is going so far i just did a little rough sketch here uh i'm not really sure if i like this sort of curve i mean it's not really a curve it's kind of more of a straight line and i want it to curve um so we're probably gonna end up redoing that but that's not the the main focus so it comes down out of the out of the crop field you come over here in between the hedges and you can go left or right and there you go. The paths link up to each and every one of these stalls here, even the little flower shop. And they go all the way through. This is a big open area, so I left some sand here to kind of divide it. I'll probably put like a tree, uh, like a little custom tree up in there. And yeah, I mean, this is basically it. I think I also want to do maybe some... Um, uh, just, you know, like little tables and uh, benches or something around here so people can like... You know, maybe come buy some food and go eat, go eat right next to the fountain or something, you know, <laughs> something like that. I think I'll just go on ahead and like put some tables down, you know, classic uh, fence and pressure plate like that. So for this side, I think I'll try and put a bench here that lines up with the center of the fountain. Just something simple, just a simple little bench design <laughs> uh, like this. There you go. And sure, we'll... we'll uh. Add a few chairs on the side as well, just in case if you're sitting with more people, maybe. I put another table in, like that. Alright, now I'm going to come in with some oak fences, and we'll try and uh, put a little tree here. I think I'm going to change all this to dirt. And then, yeah, we'll just like start the tree here. It'll probably go up a few blocks. Um, it's just going to be a little skinny tree. <laughs> Alright, so I just threw, threw down some fence posts. Um, I'm just gonna come in here with some azalea bushes and we'll just like surround the fences and see how it looks. All right, there we go. I think that works. What we could do as well is maybe add a lantern hanging from it. I don't know, actually. I went on ahead and surrounded the uh, base of the tree with some trap doors. The fence kind of like sticks to the side of it and it makes it a little bit thicker. Uh, I think the base needed a little bit of a thickness. So yeah, I think that's it for our custom tree. We'll go on ahead and do a few more custom trees and probably uh, put some like bushes or something. I don't know. We need, we need to fill like some of these empty spaces here. I removed one of the, the tables, but yeah, maybe just uh, something like this. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm just about done decorating the place. You know, we got the uh, benches here or tables and chairs and everything. I decided to do some like planter type uh, things here. Um, I added in a lot of bamboo as you saw like closer to the beginning I have some bamboo growing over there to like kind of offset this tree uh, And I just have some of them just all around the place. And of course, we got the custom trees I went on ahead and put glowstone in in all the trees and also in the hedges as well uh, At the bottom underneath there's some glowstone hidden away just just for some hidden lighting and of course more flower pots as well <laughs> you can never have too many flower pots oh i also got these wandering trader llamas and i put chests on all of them and i kind of scattered them around the market like you got one over there and you got another one over there i put a light blue carpet on that guy another thing i did was i traded with all of the villagers here and i made everybody masters except for one guy but yeah it's the butcher he's asking for raw chicken and raw pork chops and i've barely killed any pigs or any chickens so far in this world and to be honest I don't know if I'm gonna kill pigs and chickens just to level this guy up. I don't really think we'll be using him too often, to be honest. But anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. It means a lot. Much love, much respect. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one.